Hello everyone, my name is Sunaina Atri and I am going to take a very short session on one of the topic which is from the science subject and the name of my topic is circulatory system. So the circulatory system is very uh, important function of the body and the very uh, vital processes in the body and you can say that very crucial uh, steps or the process in the body is carried out via the circulatory system. So we will study the circulatory system in detail. So first of all, we, our human body is a very complex in nature which undergoes various types of function. So there are so many functions in our body. So to carry on those function, body needs to carry out various type of processes. For example, respiration, transportation, circulation, ingestion, excretion and so etc. so many. So in this class we are going to discuss about the one of them that is the process of the circulation. As the name suggests circulation it circulates the vital components in the body and it removes the waste out of the body. So in a very uh, simple language, we can understand that the process of the circulation circulates the important vital components, for example, the hormones, the ions, the minerals, etc. from the body and removes the waste out of the body through the process which is known as excretion. So there are mainly two organs which perform these two functions in the body which are heart and lungs. So heart and lungs are the two organs in the body which plays a very important part in the process of circulation. So there are two types of circulation in the body. The one is call, called as the open and the second one is called as the closed type of circulatory system. So most of the animals have the closed type of circulation in the body which takes place which takes place two times in the, two times in the body. The closed circulation can further be uh, bifurcated into the two type. The first one is the single circulation. It means that the circulation in the body takes place uh, the circulation in the body takes place one single time and the other one is that the circulation takes place in the body two times. So first we will study the first one, the single circulation. As the name suggests, the blood flows fr uh, from the heart to the gills and after the purification, the blood will be distributed to the different part of the body in the single circulation only. So the example of these type of animals is bird, fishes and reptiles. But the animals which contains the two type of circulation are the, for example, the biggest one is the humans. The name suggests the two circulation takes place in which there are two type of blood. The one is which contains the oxygen and the second type of blood which do not contain the oxygen. It means uh, in the two processes, the in the first one, the blood contains the oxygen and in the second one, the blood which is circulated in the body, it don't contains the oxygen. We will study the small detail about the structure of the heart. Our heart is has four chambers. So heart is divided into four different chambers. The two uh, which is present in the upper side are called as the atrias and the two which is present in the lower side are called as the ventricles. So our heart is four chambered body. Depending upon the organisms, the hearts are two chambered, three chambered, four chambered, so on. But the heart which is present in the human body is four, contains four chambers. The heart is linked to the lungs through the arteries and veins both. The oxygenated rich blood, it means the blood which contains the oxygen is transferred to the lungs from the heart through the aorta. Later, the veins which takes the deoxygenated blood which is rich in the CO2 from the various parts of the body and take them to the heart for their 
purification. In this type of circulation, there is a clear separation of the oxygenated and the deoxygenated blood. So the advantage of this type of circulation is that there is no mixing of the oxygenated blood with the deoxygenated blood in the body and hence it improves the body's efficiency in human body. This is the reason why the mammals can maintain their body body temperature and hence they are uh, they are often called as homeothermic the the mammals can change their body temperature in respect to the so to sum, uh, summarize the whole process at last we can conclude that the process of the circulation includes uh, the transfer of the nutrients minerals ions you know hormones from uh, from her to the different parts of the body and it it involves mainly the lungs and the heart in the whole process and the second important function which is uh, which is performed in the process of circulation is that it removes the waste out of the body so yeah this is a two important function which is carried by a uh, circulatory system so now we will study the organs which are involved in the process of circulatory system so the first one is the very 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 important organ that is heart which plays a very crucial role and the second one is the blood blood is very important because it is it gets circulated all over the body third one is the blood vessels and the fourth one is the lymph so these are the four organs which are mainly involved in the process of circulation in the body. So the uh, functions of the circulatory system are as follows. The first one is that it carries the oxygenated blood from lungs to the different parts of the body. And the second uh, function of the circulatory system is that it carries the deoxygenated blood from all parts of the body to back to the heart so that it can purify it and the last function of the circulatory system is that it helps in the blood clotting it helps uh, when your body is bleeding it helps in blood clotting etc